The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. The thing most people probably want to know right off the bat is, is this game any good? And I'm going to tell you, as someone who spent a bunch of time in his lifetime playing wrestling video games, uh, I've definitely played worse. <laughs> I can very easily tell you that much. I mean, overall, it's an interesting game in that it's very much an old school wrestling game. And in that respect, I really enjoy it. So my thanks go to uh, Ukes to THQ Nordic and to Evolve for the key that we're using to play today. I'm going to kind of bounce around a little bit on some different stuff. I'm also going to be a jerk. I'm not going to engage him with a nice uh, walk up there because, you know, that just seems like a bad idea when I can just instead maybe uh, bust a move, so to speak. So as I say, it's kind of an old school game in, in that it reminds me a little bit of the older Ukes wrestling games. I mean, they stopped making the WWE games quite some time ago. And it reminds me a little bit of some of those older ones because you have some very similar control styles to what they had going on in those games. And overall, I think it's an enjoyable game. I just, I don't know. It kind of depends on what you're looking for when you go into it, whether it's going to be something you really, really like or not. I mean, it has some, some definite pros, but there are also some cons. And as we see right now, we're playing in the Road to Elite mode. I'm using a wrestler that I made. I mean, obviously I made, because look at how tacky this guy is. I mean, that just kind of tells you everything you need to know, right? But in terms of the customization of characters, honestly, it's a little limited maybe compared to some more recent games. That's not to say it's bad, because it's not. I mean, I think there's a pretty good chance that you're going to find something that you like in the middle of all of this. And there's a good chance that, uh, I don't know, you'll have a good time playing with it. I mean, I have so far. And I mean just the character creation. I mean, yes, again, if you're used to the more recent games, then maybe you're going to be a little disappointed because you want something that's going to have about a bajillion and one options. And in that respect, yeah, I mean, maybe you're going to miss out a little bit compared to some games. There's not technically a ton of different game modes. We'll bounce over to those in just a moment. But overall, what I've played so far, I genuinely enjoy. I mean, the graphics are maybe not the best that are out there. It doesn't quite approach Uncanny Valley, so at least in that regard, I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, honestly, I'm a Fire Pro guy through and through, so I'm not here for cutting edge. Everything has to look completely 100% realistic. Like, that honestly doesn't even make a difference to me. So long as the game plays well and is fun, that's kind of my main thing. Now, Jericho here is uh, getting his butt handed to him, so... He should probably uh, think about tagging out here, but, you know, that's what happens. You tag out trying to be a good teammate, and then your teammate gets wrecked for you. But the Road to Elite mode is kind of the story mode in the game. And uh, did that not count as a tag? I think it did. It should have anyway. And it's basically where you're probably going to spend a good portion of your time, unless you're here just to do the sort of, uh, you know online matchmaking stuff, which honestly, that's where we kind of get into some of the bad stuff about the game. I don't care for Epic game services in any way, shape or form. And uh, that's part of the requirement here if you want to do any of that. So it's kind of annoying that you end up getting harassed every time you open the game up for that. But you know, it is what it is. And that right there is one of my favorite things in all of wrestling. <laughs> Give me a shining wizard any day of the week and I'm a happy camper. Anyway, um, you know, that's that sort of stuff aside, and really, it's kind of like not that big a deal in the grand scheme of things. It really truly isn't. But I don't know, it just, it doesn't sit well with me that you end up having to, to suffer through their things. Like the game would actually load a lot faster if it weren't for their stuff being involved in the game, but that's just me nitpicking. So you can kind of see here, you do have quite a few different options when it comes to, you know, like headwear and glasses. Oh, gosh, there's a delay. There we go. Going down to glasses. I mean, none of those are great. Some masks, you know, again, it's it's definitely a handful of things. I mean, it, it's not like there are there are no choices at all. I mean, I don't know. It just it, it's maybe not as as much as uh, some games might be these days, but overall, I mean, truly, it's not that big a deal. The place where the game kind of suffers a little bit is right here. When you start doing the ring intros, I mean, the, there's really not much of a walk-up or anything at all that's going on. Like, literally, that's it. That was the whole thing. 
And if you hunt, you know, pyros and all that, you got to do it yourself, which is why you can do, you know, crazy stuff like this where you're just mashing the buttons to set everything off. I mean, it's a thing and you can do it. Um, I don't know. It's just like that's one of the parts where I kind of wish they would have gone a little more in depth. But at the same time, I kind of understand where maybe they're coming from. This is just me kind of guessing. It's, you know, a little bit of a smaller game from the standpoint than doing a WWE game. So maybe you don't have as big a development team. You don't have as large a budget. So since you don't have an existing game to start from, you kind of got to build all of it from scratch. And that's what's happened here is they, they got to start somewhere. So they build from scratch with what they have. And if this ends up being a successful game, and honestly, I hope it is just because I want to see more you know competition in the space then what might end up happening is that as you get to uh, different, you know, the next game, whether that's in a year, two years, three years, whatever that might be, you might have a situation where you have some more of those things that are kind of being filled in a little bit. And if that's the case, I mean, that really only works out to the benefit of everyone involved. So again, I, I just, I kind of look at some of the stuff that's missing and it's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, it's not a, it's not a, it's not exactly a, an, an end game for me in that sense. Like, it's not going to prevent me from wanting to get the game. I mean, if you are kind of tired of how maybe some of the WWE games have been recently, or you just want to mix it up a little bit, you want something a little different, maybe a little more kind of like how they used to be, I think this is a good, a good choice for you. Again, you kind of got to know what you're going to get when you come into it, and... You know, there's some, some really weird choices involved. Like, why do you have to hit a button when you're going from your menus? Like, you know, when you load the road to elite mode, why do you have to hit a button to confirm that you're ready to now go in the mode when you've already selected to go into the mode? Like, there shouldn't be a button press required on loading screens. It should just work. Like, it should just go in. And since I'm playing on PC here with a ridiculously fast SSD, it's just really weird that I hit the button and a second later I have to hit another button to confirm that I'm ready to go into the button. It's in the mode where I already hit the button to go into the mode. Again, it's just, it's, there's some very curious decisions going on here. And I think some of this can easily be patched out, fixed, updated, etc. And it's just maybe a matter of uh, someone thought that it was a good idea to have a moment to read all the quotes. And honestly, no one cares. Why are we stopping to read quotes? It's really not that important. So I don't know, it's just, it's uh, it's little stuff like that that I think we're gonna end up seeing things over time. This game's just going to get better and better over time. I have no doubt about that. But if you're at all interested in wrestling and like old school wrestling games, give AEW Fight Forever a whirl. I mean, it's not the best game out there, but you know what? It's good enough and I have genuinely been enjoying playing it for the last few days since I've had it. So come back for more. I'm going to continue to do some more videos on this as I get the time because I genuinely enjoy the game and I really want to get more into the road to elite mode so I can really talk about that because at this point I haven't seen a ton of it and I'd like to speak more about it. Catch you another one. Till on. Thanks for watching. See you later.